Hey guys, it's Dylan, and let's talk about Heavy Shadows, and why you either find it really easy or really difficult. Now, Heavy Shadows has surprised me, honestly, because I've seen this song ranked as low as a 2 star out of 6 on the Di Diamond Perfect difficulty scale, and as high as a 6, which is crazy to me. Some people just really have trouble with this chart, and I was like, Really, because I was actually one of the people who originally ranked it as a 2 star. I now feel pretty comfortable leaving it at a 3 star. But there's a lot to look at in this chart. Uh, and I think we're kind of going to run through it uh, block by block, as Thrones of Blood would say. Uh, but we start out here with this kind of obnoxious swipe spam. Now, we're going to look at both charts, but for now we're looking at the standard. We start with this kind of obnoxious swipe pattern. But it's nothing bad. It's nothing that would ruin a DP. They're, they are swipes, after all. And I have the song on quiet, by the way, so you guys can hear me better. So nothing bad here, and we know that the verse is, the first verse at least, very easy. Nothing here that's too difficult. A lot of doubles, but really shouldn't be much of a run killer, considering how slow it is. Okay, and then we go back into the obnoxious swipe spam part. Definitely a gem farm, but not as bad as something like Soul Passivation Deluxe. Then we go into the chorus. Again, very, very easy. Incredibly slow. A lot of doubles, but they're not fast doubles and they're not really obnoxious, so... You have another very easy part. Okay, now we're in stage four. Stage four seems to be where everyone's choke point and complaint point is. Now this first part here, we have kind of just a couple of notes and then this quick staircase that'll come by. And the staircase, even there I messed it up. And that's because I think it is a bit early. What you'll notice about this whole chart is that the whole chart kind of feels early. So my first advice to you would be increasing your sync by 10. So if I play on 90, I would turn my sync to 100. Um, you might even increase it by 20 points. And that's just my advice because this whole chart feels very um, early, meaning that when the notes are here, it's whatever. When the notes are here is when the song plays the sound. So it's kind of early and the chart comes before the song. Don't mind me using my middle finger there. This is the part. This is the infamous part and we're gonna kind of look at it and break it down here. So let's go ahead and hit these first few notes here. So we start out with a very quick six note spam. This is actually a seven note spam because this note here is kind of, if you if you slid the swipe over here, it would smush down and it would look like a seven note trill. Um, so this is technically a seven note pattern here. And then this note would not be attached to it. This note is just an extra, this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, seven, one, and you'll hear that. Just like that. Now, yes, it is fast. Stamina is something that you're going to have to build up a lot for this chart. Um, we don't really see a lot of charts with speed that fast in the game. The closest we have is something like Therapy or Slumber Deluxe. So those are good charts to play if you want to practice building up your stamina. Or, I guess not stamina, but speed. If you want to build up your finger speed, those are good charts to look towards. Another thing like Tornado of Souls, Deluxe. Really, any charts that have really fast 16s like these are going to be good charts to go and play over and over again. Or even playing Heavy Shadows over and over again to help increase that finger speed. It's going to be very important. This pattern seems to be the next one that kind of confuses people. Um, the timing here. So... And it's tricky because of the note scrunching here, but if I remove these two bottom notes, this note would just blow up like this and it would just be like this. One thing I think is that's very important to helping obtain DPs in the game is understanding the tempos of each song that you go into. So with Heavy Shadows, you've got this kind of... Okay, that's your quarter notes, right? And then you've got your eighth notes, which is... Okay understanding your eighth notes, and then you've got your sixteenth notes. 
And basically what you want to do is you want to listen to like the first little clip of the song to kind of get a feel for your quarters and then kind of imagine. So and this helps with sight reading as well is kind of imagining what each tempo is going to sound like and look like in game. So if you know what the 16ths are going to look like, then you can see them right here. And if you can tell that the gap between these two lines is an eighth, because if you look at it, it's if you look at the gap between these two white lines, that's a 16th gap. If we take that gap and move it up here, it's just double that gap. And two sixteenths, you got yourself an eighth. And I just bumped the shit out of my camera. My bad. But look how we play it. Just like that. Da -da -da -da. And then we have the jacks. The jack seems to be the third choke point. And these are eighth jacks. It's just... It's... It, it's it's the same as going, it's the same as just playing four eighths like this, like a trill, but instead it's all stacked up in a jack with a double on the end, which is kind of rough, I admit. More sixteenths. And then that hold note right there, you notice how it didn't snap to the bottom. The line was actually more towards the bottom of it. It's because that hold note is lined up with that little micro tile there. Because um, the not, that note is scrunched, so was the bar on the hold note, which means you kind of have to hit them in line with each other. So you're not waiting for the hold note to go down to hit the hold note. You're hitting it in this middle bit here. And that is Heavy Shadows standard, pretty much. Um, the Deluxe doesn't add a whole lot different. But we will take a look at it to see what kind of different elements are there to kind of trip people up. Alright. So starting off, again, we have some more kind of obnoxious swipes in, although it's not as bad as the standard, in my opinion. I think this is better, actually. Even though I hate double side swipes, I think they're awful. Ooh, but we do have a new tempo there. That is not an eighth, that is not a sixteenth, that is not a quarter note. Those were twelfths. Uh, and the way you can tell a 12th is it's kind of, it's like 3 and 3, it's like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You can kind of almost hear it, because the 16th is between 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas with the 12th there, you got the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 going on. It's kind of, you kind of have to feel it out. You, you kind of got to know what you're dealing with. What did they, what did they want? Just like that. So we do have some slightly different rhythms here, but nothing too difficult. More jacks. There's plenty of charts you can use to kind of work on your jack speed. We do have some little 16th um, triples in there. Uh, nothing too hard again. And then again, I think this chart is just a little bit early. So plus 10 on your sync would probably be a good option. Just increasing your sync by 10. Not actually, not actually just using plus 10 sync. I'm saying add 10 to the sync you already use. Because I'm sure there's someone who watches the video who will use 10 sync and it would not be a good time. So again, we have very easy choruses, very easy verses. Just a little bit more swipes and some rails. And the same intro as the last time. That beautiful little seven note pattern there. But we have a lot more swipes going on here this time. And as you can notice, it's the same exact pattern pretty much. Except they end in double side swipes. Except this pattern. This is the main pattern that changes, and I think this one gets a lot of people. I'm gonna call it the comb pattern because it kind of looks like a comb. You've got this strong back piece and like the picks that come out, so it kind of looks like a comb. Um, and my best advice is just to really work on stabilizing your tempo with your left finger, and then just interjecting your right finger when it's needed, and then working on that transition from this to that double at the end. And then you have this very long spam of fast notes. I think it's, 
I'm not exactly sure what the BPM is, but it's fast as shit. So you have to be ready for this when it comes up. And again, working on that finger speed. And I missed a note there. But yeah, you gotta really work on building up that finger speed to get through something like this. Um, it's very important. So I think those are the main difficulties with Heavy Shadows. Let me know what star difficulty you think it is to Diamond Perfect in the comments. I'm curious to hear you guys' opinions. Personally, I'm pretty set with the standard being a 3 star. But a lot of people think it's a 4 or even a 5, which I think is completely blown out of proportion. Considering how many easy parts there are on the chart, I just don't think that it equals out. I think there's about 4 stages that are easy and 1 stage that's difficult. And when you balance that out... I think 3 is 5 for it, considering the difficulty of stage 4. So yeah, I'm curious to hear you guys' opinions. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, join the Discord server in the description below. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.